All right, I hope this one's a little better. Capri. All right. Guan Yu. Stu's got a good Guan Yu. He's against a chalk again. That'll suck. Chiron. Okay, Chiron. <laughs> That's the dream lane, right? Chiron Capri. Clear for days. You're never going to get out cleared. Let's use that aggression. How are you going to use it? Chiron Capri. Clear really fast. Look for rotations, maybe. You're trying to look for a fight in lane. you got to decide that. Once you see their comp, what are we going to do? Agni's going to be ridiculous against the newest. Thor. Okay, I'm down. Basic Thor play. Good idea. <laughs> do, 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 do. Spectating takes a lot of time do 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 okay Agni Thor stun city I want to see a lot of beads popped from mid got a lot of damage too Capri Chiron you got high clear so what are you gonna do with it I want to plan you know you figure out what you're doing do it I want to see a plan I want to see something preconceived I don't care if it has to change but I want to see what you're thinking. Stu. Stall lane. Don't die too much. Try not to give up first blood. That's your job. <laughs> not expecting you to carry. You are not brick. You just need to make it to a team fight. Become a heal bot. Which I know you can do. Come on, go to match. There we go. This isn't the right side of the map. I'm be on this side. We order, boys. So what are some examples of a plan that you could do? No, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he went Robin, not Jock. Well, I mean, either way. All right. Uh, maybe an example. Capri, Chiron. Hard clear left, and we're looking to rotate to mid camps at three minutes. Hard clear left, looking for an invade on blue, because it's Anubis, you can poke him out. Um, hard clear on left... Look for a rotation to gold to draw them out of lane. Clear them hard, keep them under tower, make them lose gold. Uh, make sure to have jungle pressure over here, though, so you're not ganked constantly. Uh, stall the wave, rotate your mid and jungle, and get them fed. Basically, stew your lost cause, buddy. I'm not expecting you to win. I'm pretty much counting on you to lose and... Try not to die too much. So, I don't want to see too much pressure on, on Stu's side of the map, because I don't care if he's fed or not. I only care if he's feeding. If he's feeding, you got to help him. If he's fed, it's Guan Yu. What are you going to do? You know? Um, brick. Warding. Grab the boots, grab the wards, cool. Where are they going, though? Mids. And mids. Okay. I'm okay with that. I would have liked to see mids in red, mids in boars, something like that. Mids in gold. Uh, they don't have the Thor, though. We have the Thor, so genius that gold idea doesn't 
worked perfectly. I think both mids are a little overkill, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Certainly two words are better than one, so you're not going to hear me complaining. Looks like we're going to win this off of DC, but uh, we can still look at game plan. He's starting at mid, which is really smart. Um, if our jungle had bought a ward, we could know that and murder him. Looks like Faffy's going solo. So we should beat them to lane. Good fast red clear. Let him use Kyron Kepri, so that's pretty expected. Good fast clear. On her, has done the smart thing and skipped his boars and come to lane. Um. Honestly, it could have been better either way for him, because there he guarantees his boars, here he at least guarantees a wave. Feasibly, you guys could zone him, but he's probably hoping that you won't. In mid, yeah, I mean, Agni Nubis is going the way you'd expect it to. Throws his three down, can't use his one. Just, yeah, sit on him. Absolutely. Nice. I love it. He just took a lot of poke for no reason. That was dumb of him. Yeah, hard clear, good rotation. I like it. Um, I would like that even better if we were able to do that with a full team on their side. Checking out Solo. I mean, it's Fafnir, so... So you should be fine. Okay, so you, you just... Okay. I'm not a Solo laner. But here... You just... Three the wave, I assume autoed the wave a little bit. Got aggro, because you're hitting him, which is good. And then... walked away towards your own creeps, tanked, you know, five or six shots from the archers, healed, and then walked back towards the archers. So you just killed the archers with your autos, but your health bar could be, you know, 50 or 60 higher right now. You didn't need to tank those archer shots. So watch how you clear this. You have archers. You auto, auto, auto. You have archers. You auto. You have a wave advantage. You auto. Even if you don't want to blow your ability right away, you might die. You got a gank. If that was Robin, you're dead. You are dead right now. You are dead because if that if that's Robin, dominating left side of the map, which is fine. Made the rotation right to help out Stu. We can do that because we have the player down, but if that's a regular game, let him die. Rotate left. Stall lane. Gank him. Forcing the Anubis to make decisions, which I like. The Naja is brain dead. Well, I mean, the Anubis is brain dead for trying to take that path thing. The Naja is brain dead for literally ignoring him. It's fine. You're low on mana. What do you need? What do we want to do? So the, we have the plan rotating Capri to mid. What are we going to do with that rotation? I want to see maybe back camp invade. Maybe red camp invade. I definitely want to see red camp invade. Stu, how we doing? We're losing. How are you losing? It's Fafnir. You're going you. You got better clear than him. What was the purpose of walking up to him there? You're dead. You're a lucky bastard that our support is so far ahead that he can rotate to solo lane at three minutes. Okay. You're still dead. So, I want to look at that again. You fought him and you lost the trade somehow. You still have archers here. He's taking poke from the archers. He has AoE auto attacks. They can hit both you and the archers, and you walk back into them, 
so that he can AoE attack you and the archers and get DPS on both of you. Mistake number one. Mistake number two. You chose to walk up to the archers before he was transforming, so obviously he uh, can fight back. If you're going to walk up there for whatever reason, get in his face or something, do it when he's transforming, when he can't do anything to you. Mistake number two. You ulted him when you knew he had his leap up. Let's look at Fafnir. His leap is on an 18-second cooldown. When he emerges, his abilities are reset. When he transforms back, his abilities aren't reset. 18 seconds isn't hard. It's like 20 seconds, you know? He leaps, count to 20, count to 15, something like that when he gets a cooldown. Either way, if you're going to be a soul laner, you got to know cooldowns. you got to know uh, god matchups. You know the matchups, I think. You just don't know the cooldowns. If you're trying to be really, really, really good solo laner, you got to know the cooldowns. That's why I suck in solo lane. Because I can clear a wave, but I just don't know the gods well enough. Obviously, Fafnir is probably not one that you would know off the top of your head. But either way, he hadn't leaped in a while. So his leap's going to be up now or soonish. You ulted after him, he leaped away, and you died. Abilities are good to hit. Brick, you just missed two of them. Uh, really fat dwarf. Oh, goodness. Can we get some Benny Hill music for that chase scene, please? So, meanwhile, red buff is not being invaded. <laughs> Our red buffs are up, and we're chasing the dude around there. He should have been dead. Rotation mid, dead Anubis right here. Yeah, that should be a dead Anubis. Gonna rotate back there. We, You poked Naja out, and Fafnir just died. Why do you go to your buff? It's a free blue invade, guys. Free. 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 Okay, die then. Kill him. His ult's down. You know he's down. Nice. Good kill. Free kill. Unlike that free blue buff you didn't get. Why are you here? Probably for mids? I don't understand why they're putting so much into stew. Five minutes surrender. Oh, well. Okay. So, not a very good game to test things out, I guess, because we didn't really have a way to go. But I, I hope you're seeing some of the things I'm pointing out. 